Hello guys, it's Peter here. This is my second video and today I'm going to bring you my latest model, my latest Finnish model, the Troom Padders M1117 Guardian Kit 135th scale. I finished this model in early of March, so it's been over a month now, but now I had a little time to make a short video and show you guys the outcome and, uh, and the finished model. All I can tell you about the Troom Padders kit, it's really, really a great kit. Not too many parts. It's about 369 parts, maybe. Everything went together very well during the building. I did not notice any fitting issues. So it was a fun and smooth build. As you can see, the the model is not just uh, out of the box. I've also purchased uh, the Rhino IAD kit and uh, the resin tires from uh, Voyager model. The rubber tires unfortunately were missing from the box so that's why I needed to, to buy this uh, resin kit and I've also ordered uh, for this the Rhino ID kit. For me during the building the biggest challenge was uh, making the tires steerable Unfortunately, Trumpeter doesn't give you any options to do that. So if you want to uh, make it, you will need to modify some things on your model. And uh, the other challenge is putting the tail lights on at the back. These are very well delicate. So uh, you got to be careful if you do something here because it, it, can, it can make a big headache for you. <laughs> And uh, the other big challenge for me was uh, uh, putting this uh, Rhino IAD kit at the front. The, the copper sheet is really, really thick. So if you bend this uh, uh, thing, you got to be patient because it will take your time. But at the end, it's definitely worth it because it uh, uh, gives your model a really, really great look. And it's... It's, it's not even expensive, it was about um, $10 or, or less, uh, I think. Okay, um, in this video uh, I also want to talk about the weathering set uh, for Iraq and Afghanistan vehicles from uh, AK Interactive. Uh, when I bought this model I have also uh, bought this um, weathering set as well so this was the first time I have been using it if you buy this stuff you will get three little bottles one of this is a wash it's a brown wash um, when I used it I mixed it uh, with a few drop of uh, uh, wash for NATO camo vehicles from uh, AK Interactive to make it a little bit more dark but if you have a different type of uh, a brown the oil uh, paints at home I'm pretty sure about you can make your own the streaking effect is, is it, it's 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 a great thing uh, this bottle will be enough forever for me so it definitely worth the price easy to handle it easy to use it and you can achieve a great great results in a matter of seconds as you can see it's 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 really easy to work with this the paint you also get a paint um, according to AK Interactive this paint was designed to reach a closest look and the closest match for the for these um, desert camels and, and the desert vehicles were serving in, in Iraq and, and currently serving in Afghanistan once I applied this color uh, I found it too brownish and uh, after uh, I checked so many pictures on the internet I was not happy with the results. Uh, <laughs> it hurt my eyes so I turned back to my old and favorite uh, Mr. Hobby um, uh, color. This is the age uh, 313. Uh, it's, a, it's a yellow uh, desert color and I think this is still the, the closest, uh, closest match uh, if you want to paint uh, your model in, in desert color. 
so I tried uh, um, so many different paints but this is my still is my favorite okay once I applied the last coat of this paint um, I applied a glossy coat after the glossy coat I applied uh, the the decals, not too many decals for this model, just a few of them. After the decals, I have also applied the another glossy coat, and after the glossy coat, uh, uh, I applied the a filter, a wash, a streaking effect, and finally, uh, I applied a little uh, sand pigments on the tires and over the model. So it was done. I also want to uh, talk about uh, the the periscope lenses. Uh, these are DVD discs. These made of DVD disc. All you need to do is just uh, grab a DVD disc, what you don't use, break it, and pull one of the layer off. And after that, you measure just uh, uh, these uh, sides in order to to make a. Uh, small pieces and and in order to to uh, fit your your lenses here i fixed this with instant glue i have uh, seen this uh, trick uh, and this uh, solution on the uh, on the internet on a hungarian uh, modeler site and it's it looks great because as you can see from different angles uh, gives you a different uh, different look so so I, I I really like it. So okay, guys, this was my M1117 Guardian Trump Pedal Kit. I highly recommend this model for everyone like the the Iraq and Afghanistan vehicles. It can be built in a month. It's not a big thing, not too many parts, and I definitely recommend this. Rhino ID kit for this model because it will give you a great look and uh, the antennas are also included in the in the, in the ID set so guys thanks for watching uh, next time I will bring uh, you a different model it will be a car maybe a rally car a Toyota Corolla WRC from Hasegawa I'm not a big car fan, but that uh, car is was always close to my heart, and and it's waiting on my shelf for a long time. So it's a high time to to make this kit. And after the Corolla, uh, I will start with the Mang's new Bradley. What I cannot wait to 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 build this. So okay, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, happy modeling for everyone. Bye-bye.